Hello, this is mixture and allegation lesson four. In this, I will continue with more examples on allegation. These are different examples from the examples we did in the previous classes. Uh, you should first pause this video because this is example similar to what we discussed in the previous lesson. Pause this video, try to solve yourself. If not able to solve, then look at the way I have solved. The question says that initially there is a mixture. Mixture we have milk and water in the ratio three to two. After adding eighteen liters of water. We are adding water to the mixture. The new ratio of milk to water becomes two is to three. What was the initial quantity of mixture in which water was added? So we are mixing mixture and water. We are mixing these two things, mixture and water. We can apply either water allegation or milk allegation. I am applying first milk allegation. Mixture contains milk and water initially in the ratio three to two. Ratio is three to two. So how much milk is there in the mixture? Milk is to water ratio three to two. So milk will be three by five. That is sixty percent. Sixty percent milk is there in the mixture. How much milk is there in the water? Zero percent because water contains no milk. Overall. Average concentration. So you can see that average percentage of milk in the mixture, new mixture is two is to three. Question says that the new ratio of milk to water in the final mixture becomes two is to three. So milk percent is forty percent. So again, subtract diagonally smaller value from the larger value. Forty minus sixty, you get twenty percent. Forty minus zero, you get forty percent. The ratio is two is to one. It means that the mixture and water are mixed in the ratio two is to one, so as to get forty percent concentration. Now we know that milk is eighteen liters, so milk was one, and mixture is two. So if one is eighteen liter, given to you that water we have added is eighteen liters, so how much should be the mixture initially? Mixture should be thirty six liters, so that ratio becomes two is to one. Answer our answer is thirty six liter. That is option number C. This is our, our answer thirty six liter option number C. You can also apply the water allegation. We are you, mixing which two things we are mixing. We have to write first mixture and water. Mixture milk and water in the ratio three is to two. So water concentration in mixture is forty percent two by five because water is two parts out of total five parts. Water contains hundred percent water. By mixing, the final solution milk is to water ratio is two is to three. This milk to water ratio is two is to three. So your water would be three by five. That is sixty percent. Again, subtract diagonally. Smaller value from the larger value. Hundred minus sixty, you get forty percent. Sixty minus forty, sixty minus forty, you get twenty percent. Again, the ratio is two is to one. Answer will still be. Same. Next example: A retailer purchased a refrigerator and a washing machine for a total of sixty thousand, and gained thirty percent on selling both. This thirty percent is the total profit percent on combined combination. If the profit on selling the refrigerator and washing machine individually is twenty four percent and forty two percent respectively, we need to find the cost price of washing machine. Now, this questions. Is a profit and loss question, but we can also apply the allegation on this question. Now, how to judge where to apply allegation and where not to apply allegation? Again, I am telling you wherever average, average profit percent is given, average concentration is given, average cost is given, average interest is given, anything as etc. Anything average of two things. Of two things only, we can apply the allegation. As simple as this. Wherever two things is given, in this case, we can also apply allegation. As you can see, that average profit percent thirty percent is given. This is average profit percent thirty percent is given to us. Let's see how we can apply this allegation, and we can solve this question in less than a minute by applying allegation. So I have a refrigerator. I have a washing machine. 
profit percent profit on selling the refrigerator refrigerator profit is 24 percent washing machine profit is 42 percent average profit on selling both average profit on selling both is you know that is 30 percent again as i told you wherever average profit average concentration etc is given you can apply the allegation again subtract smaller value from the larger value 42 minus 30 is 12 percent 30 minus 24 is 6 percent the ratio is 2 is to 1 this ratio means this is not the ratio when two things are mixed you can't mix refrigerator and washing machine this ratio is the average of cost price where refrigerator is 2 washing machine is 1 so total cost we know that is 60,000 total cost was 60,000 so definitely it will be 40,000 and this will be 20,000 we have to divide 60,000 in the ratio total would be 60,000 given to us total cost of both was 60,000 this 2 is to 1 is the ratio of the cost now what we need to calculate we need to calculate the cost of washing machine answer is 20,000 answer is 20,000 answer option number D this is the answer 20,000 option number D as you can see that I have solved this question in less than a minute in exams time it will take even a less time so that's the advantage of allegation so wherever average of two things average concentration average profit average cost average interest is given you can apply the allegation you can solve this question with the help of equation also let's see how you must know both the ways in case you may find the allegation method difficult in any difficult question in exam you should know how to solve the equation let's say the cost price of refrigerator is x cost price of washing machine is y so what is selling price of refrigerator selling price of refrigerator we are gaining 24 percent on refrigerator so selling price would be 1.24 x please refer to the percentage chapter there if there is a 24 percent profit selling price will be 1.24 x selling price on washing machine there is a 42 percent profit that will be 1.42 y now overall profit is 30 percent now apply the equation can i say i'm solving here can i say selling price of refrigerator plus selling price of washing machine must be equal to selling price of both selling price of washing machine why know that is 1.42 y selling price of refrigerator this is like this also. wrong selling price of refrigerator is 1.24 x selling price of washing machine is 1.42 y this must be equal to selling price of both now selling price of both if the cost price of both is x plus y now we have a total of 30 percent profit so whenever there is a 30 percent profit your selling price would be 1.3 times the total cost the total cost is x plus y 1.3 times so solving this you get 1.24 x plus 1.42 y is equals to 1.3 x plus 1.3 y again after solving you will get you need to multiply this equation by 100 you guys 124 x multiplying this equation by 100 124 x 142 y 130 x plus 130 y solving this you will get 6 x is equals to 12 y x by y is 2 is to 1 it means the cost of refrigerator was x cost of refrigerator and washing machine x is to y in the ratio 2 is to 1 again your answer will be 20,000 but you can see that it may take one one minute or one and a half minute to solve this question with the help of equation but with the help of allegation it will be comparatively quite easy the objective of discussing this question was that you should know that wherever average thing is given of two things average profit percent average concentration you can apply the allegation next question is also similar to the previous one we discussed in this case average interest is given the question says that a man lent a total of 80,000 to two persons P and Q 13% and 18% per annum for two years on simple interest he received a total interest of 24,000 this is the average 
interest total twenty four thousand. Now what we need to calculate some land at thirteen percent. Again, you can solve with the help of allegation. Why allegation? Because you have two rate percent. One is thirteen percent. One is eighteen percent. And we have to find the average rate of interest. So let me first find average rate of interest. So simple interest for two years we are getting total combined total simple interest for two years we are getting twenty four thousand on eighty thousand two. But our total money I am getting total interest of twenty four thousand. Simple interest of one year would be how much? Simple interest of one year half. This is twelve thousand because simple interest is same every year. And we know that simple interest of one year is R percent of P. Please refer to the simple interest lessons. Simple interest to one year is R percent of P. So twelve thousand is R by hundred of principal was how much? Eighty thousand. So R will become fifteen percent. So it means that our average total rate of interest I am getting fifteen percent. Some money I gave at thirteen percent. Some money I gave at eighteen percent. Overall interest I am getting is combined total interest I am getting is fifteen percent. This is the average. Interest rate. So again, we apply allegation. P and Q. P you have given at thirteen percent. Q you have given at eighteen percent. Average interest you are getting is fifteen percent. So again, subtract smaller from larger. Eighteen minus fifteen is three percent. Fifteen minus thirteen is two percent. So ratio is three is to two. Three is to two. Three to two is the ratio. Total money was eighty thousand, so we have to divide eighty thousand in the ratio three to two. So this will be three by five of eighty thousand. That is forty-eight thousand. This would be two by five of eighty thousand. That is thirty-two thousand. So it means that what we need to calculate, we need to calculate money lent at thirteen percent. So this thirteen percent is forty-eight hundred. This eighteen percent is thirty-two hundred. So our answer is. Thirteen percent. Thirteen percent answer would be forty-eight thousand. So your answer would be choice number first. And I have written also in the last answer is forty-eight thousand. Similar same question I am solving with the help of equation. Equation. Now let's say total money was eighty thousand. Out of which let's say x part and y. Out of eighty thousand x rupees, I given at thirteen percent to P, and y rupees at eighteen percent to Q. Now, make equation. So, simple interest one year on x would be simple interest. We know that for one year is R percent of P. So on x would be thirteen percent, thirteen by hundred of x. That on simple interest on x. That I S I on x rupees one year. Simple interest on y would be eighteen percent of y. This is simple interest on y, one year. Simple interest on x plus y. Would be x plus y. Average return, as I calculated in the uh, previous slide, it would be fifteen percent. We have calculated average one year return is fifteen percent. Again, solving this ratio, we will get x is to y in the ratio three is to two. X is to y in the ratio three is to two. I think I, as we discussed, three is to two. Yes, answer is three is to two. So in this way, you can solve with the help of equation. It won't also also won't take that much time, but with allegation, it quite easier. So in the next class I will continue with more examples on allegation thank you